Hi everyone, this is Rue on Paper. Today I have something very excited because I hadn't really thought that I was going to be hand like holding these things in my hands. Like, I don't know, ever, maybe. These are inks, but they're kind of special inks in that they are a store exclusive collaboration between Sailor and Kingdom Note. And Kingdom Note is a store in Tokyo, Japan. And I have not been to Japan. I mean, I, I have been to Japan in the past, but not recently. However, my sister uh, did go there a couple of weeks ago and she was going to go to Tokyo and she asked me, do I need to get you anything? Um, just, you know, pass me a, a shopping list and I'll see what I, what I can do. So I gave her the address of Kingdom Node and I asked her specifically to look for these two inks and then she threw one in as a like surprise souvenir gift as well. So I'm really, really excited about these. Um, I have seen these two online before and absolutely fell in love with their colors and their, you know, their properties. And this one I haven't seen and I'm really excited to swatch it and see what the color looks like. Um, it's supposed to be more or less the color of the pheasant on the front, which is a sort of very deep teal color. Looks absolutely beautiful. I think this was a great choice as well. So let's swatch these. I mean, I'm really manhandling these these boxes, but the bottles are not actually inside them anymore. <laughs> I took them out already. The bottles are absolutely gorgeous, by the way. They are these beautiful um, rectangular bottles. Feel very sturdy, very luxurious with the sort of namesake um, creature animal on the front. This is an evening cicada. This one has a stag beetle. And this one has a pheasant. I don't actually know, like I should have checked this beforehand. It's probably a specific uh, species of pheasant, but I don't know which one. I mean, it says here, but I don't know which one is the Fasianus versicolor, except that in Japanese, it's apparently called a Kiji. So we're going to swatch these today and let's take a look. So the first one that I'll be swatching is the Evening Cicada. In Japanese, it's called Higurashi. And it is a beautiful, a beautiful warm, olivey green ink. already see a bit how pretty that is going to be. You can tell with your eyes closed that these are sailor inks because they have that very typical, very strong chemical smell. Now that is gorgeous.
This ink reminds me a bit of Diamine Safari, except it is a little, it has less hints of yellow, this ink. It's a little more true to its, its green base color. It has gorgeous shading. I will also show you uh, when it's completely dried up. But it has this lovely, like slightly unsaturated, it's a, it's a bit more, it's a bit less saturated than some other greens, but it still has that very warm green color. I like it a lot. And what I also like about this, um, and we'll see that later, I've, I have tested it before, is that this one has a bit of sheen, but the sheen is black. And I love a bit of black sheen on a green ink. I think that is a gorgeous combination. And the sheen isn't too overpowering at all. It's not a very, very strong sheen. And the next one is going to be this one, the Stag Beetle. Now this looks really cool. I wouldn't be too happy if a Stag Beetle like landed on my leg as I was sitting somewhere, but you know, on on this label, it looks very cool. So in Japanese, it's called the Okuba Gata. I think, I think it, that's what it says. Um, and it's a black ink, but it's a very special black ink in that it has a gorgeous sheen that kind of resembles the sheen on the stack beetles. Now, what do you call it? It's part of the exoskeleton, I think, but uh, I don't know. Is it the carapace? You'll have to forgive me for not having great vocabulary when it comes to insects in English. Well, neither in Dutch, probably, but, you know, we're going to see what this ink is all about. The black ink feels a bit wetter, a bit smoother than the green one. It's a really, really saturated kind of black. I think this this black ink may be a bit boring for some people. Personally, I love greys and blacks. I think this has a wonderful um, sort of undertone. It is not too brown. It is not too, too purple, too blue, too anything. It is kind of a warm gray color, the, the, light, the lighter parts. Um, but then when it gets darker, it's a beautifully, deeply saturated kind of black. And we're just going to let the sheen develop for a bit. So let's see if you can already see a bit of it. It doesn't actually show right now. We're going to see if it, if it will um, when it's completely dry.
And then the last ink is the pheasant one, the Kiji. I hope the noise in the background isn't too loud. I'm going to try to reduce the noise as much as possible, but the neighbors are having construction work done in their garden and it's going to take days, if not weeks, and it's been so annoying. I'm just working with like noise cancelling headphones the entire time, but it's, you know, I can't really do anything about it while filming, except the hope that the microphone doesn't pick up too much of the background noise. This color is amazing. I am so glad that my sister picked this one out. I love this. It's ah, it's so good. In the wetter parts, it's a bit more blue leaning. In the lighter parts, it's a bit more green leaning. And it gives that wonderful sense of looking at, for example, a peacock's feather or looking at the ocean, it has a lot of depth. Really, really beautiful. I'm gonna let these dry like 100% and then I'll film a little, um, a little clip to, to show off like the bits of sheen that we get and how much shading exactly we will, we will see when it's completely dry. So see you in a bit. Okay, so the ink is dry now. So I can show you how these swatches look. So you can see that the green one has a little bit of shimmer. Uh, I mean, sorry, a little bit of sheen, a little bit of black sheen, but it's, it's really subtle. It's, it's not much. The black one develops a gorgeous, gorgeous green sheen. It is not too bright, but it is absolutely gorgeous. Actually, it is, in some parts, it is really bright, but it really depends on the angle that you look at it. You can also see it in this thick line that I made with the speedball nib. You can also really see this sheen. I'm trying to see if the camera picks it up, but it's easier to see in real life, actually. And then the Kiji, the teal one is just a really, really pretty one. It has a tiny rim of red sheen, which is quite common with bluish inks. Um, but it's just, it's a gorgeous color. It's, they with this color, they have find, found the perfect balance between green and blue. And I like how in some parts it's it's a perfect mixture Whereas you can also see some parts that are more green, some parts that are more blue. It's a, it's absolutely gorgeous ink. So I hope you enjoyed seeing these swatches. These inks may be a little hard to get depending on uh, where you live, obviously. There are also many, many more inks that are store exclusives, especially in Japan. They do a lot of those. Um, so I, I'm just really happy that I was able to get these three and I will absolutely enjoy using them. Thankfully, the bottles are quite large, so I don't have to feel like I'm gonna run out very soon so I can just really enjoy using these in my pants and I'm really looking forward to doing so. I hope you enjoyed the video. 
and I hope to see you in the next one as well. Take care. Bye. Thank you.